Hello everyone and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we're on my Tunnel 12 account in LP4 Hades and we are taking on WHF once again. So in this war it is a no dip war which means that Tunnel 13s cannot attack Tunnel 12s, Tunnel 12s cannot attack Tunnel 11s, etc. So that means that we have a very limited amount of attacks to do on each Town Hall level. There's only one other Town Hall, uh, Town Hall 12 player left, that is GIG. So we only have two attacks left for this base. So we're going to need to get the 2 star and hopefully secure the 3 star. So I scouted this base with my Town Hall 11. And I did a bit of a mass hog attack. I was expecting Teslas at the top here, but they didn't actually happen, so that's actually a good thing. It makes my funnel a lot easier. So the wall wrecker goes into the center with Valks and an Ice Golem in it. <sighs> Debating whether the Ice Golem is completely useful, unless it comes out first, unless I can figure out a way to make it go out first. Because otherwise the Valks just die before the Ice Golem can actually use the freeze. And because it's a Hound CC, I actually want this queen to leave the inside of the base. So what I'm going to do about that is, because I'm going to have my hogs coming in from this side, I don't want them to, I don't want them to drift too far away from the center. So I'm going to use my queen around here and take out these four buildings. And that should keep them towards the center. And since there's defenses here, it should be a good bet that these building that will lead the hogs into the town hall and then we can get the two star at least so that's the basic plan I also brought a jump spell because I didn't know if the wrecker would survive but it did so I'm gonna replicate that without the jump spell maybe have freezes instead or something like that probably freezes and we'll see what we can do be back in a bit before we get into the attack, I want to give a short update on the war. So we're behind a little bit on percent. We've hit every base, so the total destruction number is accurate. So we are a bit behind on percent, and we are one three star behind. So we need to get a couple of attacks in. We have six more attacks than they do. So we need a couple of attacks in, and we need a couple of attacks more than them to triple. So it's a very close war here. I'm going to give it a shot in um, helping them out. So I think we're ready to go. In three, two, one. So wizards to funnel. Drop the wall wrecker first. And once it breaks the first layer, I'm gonna drop the ice golem and the queen. Once it gets to that layer, and the king. Okay. I forgot to drop the queen on the outside. Uh, um. Okay. We can try and deal with that. Drop the hogs, hope that the hound gourds goes towards the hogs. We'll just drop a group on the bottom side to funnel instead of the queen. We need some more damage percentage. And boom, okay. We got a massive warden ability. That was crazy. Okay, I think this is good. Alright, <laughs> we definitely got it. Yeah, that was smashed. Totally smashed. Absolutely wrecked. Jeez. Yep, very good. Very, very pleased with that. 
freeze the king just for lulls and drop the queen. I'm very happy with that attack. I wasn't completely sure how that was going to go, but it worked out perfectly in the end. Yep, so that's going to be a three star for our side. I think we're tied up now, but we do need to get a little bit more to have the cushion that we need to keep it going. By the way, this is the lowest Tunnel 12 on the map. So, and if this base survives the entire war, I'll do a video on it. Let me know in the comments if you want that. So this is the next base I want to hit. It's base 25. And it's a Tunnel 12, of course. What I'm thinking is a little bit unusual. So what I want to do is I want to start the queen walk from this side over here. Funnel her somehow over to the left. Wall break in right about here. Probably around here is where the wall breakers would actually go. Funnel this side so she doesn't wander around too much. And then since this inferno is accessible from this compartment, right here, from this compartment, because it's only three tiles, one, two, three, then the queen should be able to reach that before encountering the CC. And then with a bunch of rage spells, she'll be able to get to the eagle artillery as well. All the way wrapped around the inferno tower. So that's going to be a lot of work for her to do, but I think she can do it. For the back end, since we're getting three of the four air defenses, probably, probably three of the four, this will take the longest to do if she doesn't get it from this corner here. She can reach it, but it's a bit out of her way. So if she doesn't reach that, that'll be the fourth air defense to go down. What I can do with this final air defense is drop a stone slimer there and then have dragons on this side to go across the base and take out the rest of it. I think that can work. If I can execute the, the uh, queen charge enough, then I think it'll work. So I really want to do that, and hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> so that's the idea. Let's go to the attack. We are back with the army ready to go. We have four rages, four freezes, the wall breakers, a couple of loons for tanking and for Coco. We have nine dragons and we have the healers. A couple of funnel baby dragons as well. So let's look at the base and let's go in. Three, two, Queen, Loon, BD, Wizard. Healers. Wizard got the wrong building. Okay, what am I going to do about that? I have to do something about that, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Queen is safe for now. Drop the king. Wizard behind. That should work. Come on, queen. Thank you. Okay. I like it so far. That's a problem. Come on, queen. Take out the enemy queen. Okay, didn't need that. Alright, I think it's going pretty well so far. 
queen does manage to get the final, the third air defense. Okay. Freeze the Inferno. Or freeze the Expos, rather. Okay, we only have one Rage spell for the Dragons. So I need to use it very well. Time might be an issue, actually. Hmm. I don't really like that. Hopefully these rage dragons can get there in time. Save the queen, come on. Nope. Okay. Come on. I know you want to. I know you want to get the triple. Come on. Ugh. Yep, that's time. That is gonna be time. Wow, yeah. Just not quite enough. It's gonna be 96%, something like that. That really hurts, it really does. Wow. Oh, wow. Alright, 197% for that war. That really hurts. Alright, let's give a checkup of the score. We are so close to them. We are so close in percent. Yep, I think we are we are in a good we are in a good position. I think we can take this out. So as your update, this is the last attack of the war. Let's watch it and see what happens. See if it changes anything in the war. So currently we are up by a couple of stars, but they have one more attack. And we have two attacks, three attacks going simultaneously. So let's just watch this and see how it goes. So the queen charged into the eagle and countered three ice golems. And so that's going to keep her busy for a long time. He drops the siege barracks. That is interesting. I had not actually seen that before. The Archer Tower attacked the Siege Barracks and some HP dropped. I didn't even know that was possible. Okay. That is really interesting to me. Wow, okay. That's a new mechanic, or not a new mechanic, but a mechanic that I hadn't recognized before. Alright, so we're learning at the same time. So this is yet again the Minor Hog strategy. It's really powerful with the Royal Champion. And all the heal spells and stuff, you know. Outside Bomb Tower is interesting because it actually worked in this case. Getting all the hogs to low HP without any heal spells left. But we have the Queen raged up with probably four healers. But we also have the Royal Champion. Let's see if the Royal Champion actually can do this. <laughs> Royal Champion gets the last shot off. And I think that's going to be it, as long as time permits. We should be able to clean this up. And I'll just give you a spoiler. He does, in fact, clean it up. And let's take a look at the score, the final score, at the end of the war. Vicious against Nick gets the three star. Final score, 138 to 135. But WHF did have a no-show. So the worst case scenario could have been 138 to 137. So I'll take it. That is the first week of CCL elite league i think so that's a win for the lp4 hades king jeffrey family i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something i've been raised gaming and i'm out